Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Daniel and today I'm bringing you Volta Ciclista Catalunya a 7 stages race and this one again it's for the climbers we got time trial, we got hills, we got mountains in particular in stage number 3 and 4 we got some big mountain days really with special category climbs as well big day and um, and yeah, this race is not a objective from our sponsor, but but besides that, I want to make a pretty good performance here with our guys because I feel that we are missing a big stage race win on the GC, so let's try to do that. Here on the first stage, it's a hill stage with three mountain sprints. It's going to be difficult. We got the first category, second category and the third category climbs. This is not for the sprinters, so I think the general classification will start right away in this first uh, stage, so yeah. And the guys that we are bringing are the following. Gianluca Brambilla, Giulio Ciccone, Nicola Conci, Juan Pedro, Lope, Juan Pedro Lopez, Vincenzo Nibali, Mats Pedersen and Nicolas Egg. And as you see right here, I don't have anyone for the sprint. Maybe Pedersen, but... He's not a sprinter, but of course, if we need that, we have Pedersen. And the, in this race, it should be Richie Port that will be leading out our team. It should be him, but of course, he got injured. So, Vicente Nibali will step up to his place. So, he's going to be our leader for this race. And of course, we got great helpers from Ciccone, who had very few races until now. He had uh, just, I think, nine days of racing or not even that, I don't know. Then we got Brambilla, Conchi and Nicholas Egg, everyone to help mm, Nibali. And of course, they are at fitness peak right now, which is pretty good. So yeah, let's go and try to win with Nibali. So guys, here we are, the start of stage number one of Bota Seguista Catalunya. Our guys are in pretty good shape right now, which is very cool. As we see, plus days on almost everyone besides Julie Ciccone. But just a minus one, so not a big problem, I think. But the other guy is plus two, Niklas Egg with look at his stats. Really good help to Nibali. Rambilla as well, and Nika Conchi, Nicola Conchi. Plus 4 on mountain, plus 4 on hill, it's going to be a very good help, really. And even Juan Pedro Lopez with a plus 2, so nice. So let's see if we can make the best of these race days. So guys, here we are on the hardest part on this climb. Very steep, we are on 10% right now. Lopez at 85 at the front of the peloton. We see the best guys already here at the front trying to catch us and to stay with us. Lopez is done, so let's go now with Ciccone at 88, very fast pace really. That's what I want to do right now. A really high pace, maybe even 90. And the breakaway has just been caught by us. These guys are very comfortably in our wheel, but I don't care really. The others are suffering, that's what I want. The hardest part is already passed by us, so it's not that hard now, but there are only 28 people, 20 people on the peloton, a little a little gap right here guys, right now, which has been, which has been closed already, but still, that was a breakaway right there. Come on Chicorni, keep up that good job. And Nicola Conchi is not very well in terms of energy. But now let's go Niklas Egg, this is your time now. You can rest Ciccone. And Nibali, oh my god, really? Ciccone just blocked Nibali, come on. Now one counter to the summit, Brambilla is out really, so I think I'm going to attack with Nibali. I'm attacking with Nibali, these guys will stop for now. Nibali, come on. Let's go. Conchi on his wheel so that he can be a help to us. And right now, three guys at the front. Yes, that's it. Come on, guys. 
Okay, this is good now. I will follow it. Nibali following Conchi. Now Conchi will just go ahead, really. Because this is a very, very big downhill right now. So guys, it doesn't matter to attack on the downhill. You cannot create breakaways, really. So let's just stay here with the peloton. Only 50 guys at the peloton right now. We still got the third category climb to pass. So let's try again to set the pace with the guys that we still have. And the guys we have are, are good still. So I think we can manage to do something. I don't know. And maybe an attack by Nibali at the end of the, the climb. We'll see. So guys, 11 kilometers to the last climb of this first stage of Vuelta Ciclista Catalunya. I'm putting a pace really high right now with our guys. So that everyone is in difficulty, I hope. We'll soon start climbing. But the climb is very short really, so... Maybe a pace is not the best strategy. Maybe the best strategy is to attack really, I don't know. But we'll see. 20 kilometers to the finish. Attack by Vincenzo Nibali. Nibali is attacked at the summit of this climb. Can we hold on to the finish? We'll see the guys already behind us. Dylan Thun, Roman Bardet, Fuglsang. But I, I don't think I'm going to do it really. We'll see. Now Neil at 95. Only 10 seconds down. So maybe it's better to stop because I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god, uh, guys, I tried, but nothing happened really. Oh, and now Bardet is attacking, Tim Wellens uh, as well attacking. Godou attacking, but the other guys are right here. But we have to be careful because these guys attacking are not very good for us. We need to be very careful. Again, Godou and Tim Wellens attacking. Now Nicolas A giving everything. Almost 5 kilometers to the finish now. And now Froome is attacking. I will try to follow Froome right now. Barnabilla, can you do that please? No? Seriously? I start sprint with Barnabilla, I mean. And Nibali behind him. We'll start sprint now and we got the lead. Can we do it? We got some gap but no, Ben Swift is coming. Ben Swift or Mohoric? No, Madwas. Madwas is the winner of this first stage on Catalonia. We just finish with the peloton, really. Nibali only 39, but it doesn't matter, really. We finish with the peloton. We, we tried to attack, but in the end, it was not enough. We cannot create gaps in this first stage, but... We, we, we hand in the peloton, so that's, that's very good. So guys, in the end, Valentin Madwaz is the winner of the first stage of Volta Ciclista Catalunya. We try our best to create gaps, but it wasn't enough really. And uh, maybe it's an afterthought that uh, Yanuka Brambia had a lot of uh, yellow and uh, he's got a bit of acceleration. So maybe I could try to sprint with him in the last second, but I did not do that. So... 17th place for him. Vicenzo Nibli at the end at the end of this peloton at 39. Yeah, not bad. We finish with the favorites. That's what we want. And now in the next stage, it's a flat one, so it's for the sprinters. We don't have any sprinters. Only Matt Pedersen. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, my head. It's not a flat stage. It's a time trial. 21 kilometers time trial. So this one Nibali again. We'll try our best to maybe not win because we got the likes of Rocklich and so on. So to get a good place and right here, it's going to be gaps for the GC. So yeah, we'll see. And so guys, here we are with Vicenzo Nibali, our favorite for this race. And he's got a plus three day, which is very good. So let's hope to make something great with him. Plus 4 on time trial, plus 2 on mountain, plus 3 on hill. Come on, Nibali, you can do this, come on! And we are approaching our first intermediate checkpoint. 
let's see where Nibali is right now is with the energy let's see fourth place 12 seconds down who is in the first Chris Froome is at the front of this first checkpoint so yeah come on Nibali come on now Nibali approaching the second checkpoint let's see where he's at second place again 17 seconds down from Chris Froome again Come on Nibali, you can do this, 5 kilometers to go now. Let's up this a little bit for at 77 now. Come on Nibali, let's go. We are 2 kilometers away from the finish line, there is the finish line, come on Nibali. It's downhill, 99 and 1 kilometer to go. Come on Nibali, pedal down, please, come on. And second again, 10 seconds behind Chris Froome. Oh my god, what a performance by Vicenzo Nibali, really. So guys, in the end, once again, we lose to Primus Roglic. He's the winner of this time trial. Chris Froome is second place, Grant Thomas third, and Remco Ebenepo with the same time as Grant Thomas. So they both share third and fourth place. And now and then we come, Vicenzo Nibali at fifth place with 29 seconds down Primus Roglic. Not a bad time trial for Vicento Nibali, really. I cannot complain at all. In the general classification, we are fourth because Chris Froome is behind us. So, yeah, 29 seconds behind Primus Hoglic. It's going to be very tough to dethrone Hoglic from that first place, but we'll see next stage. It's a big mountain stage, so we're trying to do our best to get that first position. Let's go, Nibali. And guys, I, I did not realize, but we are first at the mountain points because Nibali passed the, at the front of stage number one. He won that jersey. So yeah, 22 points for him. And we are the lead of the mountain's jersey, which is pretty cool. But of course, our main goal is the GC. So guys, start of the stage and we see a zero fitness day for Nibali, which gives him a plus one on almost everything. And Chikonia with a minus four, so going to be very difficult for him to help Nibali. But uh, yeah, he's here for that, so let's try to do the best we can with Chikoni. But it's going to be very difficult for Chikoni to be a part of this stage, really. So guys, here we are, the last 20 kilometers of the stage. Things are going very fairly. Nothing happened, really. I've got my guys here at the front, so let's see how things develop. 10 kilometers away now from the finish line. Come on, guys. Putting up a pace. And where is Brambilla? Brambilla is getting blocked. Come on. And Brambilla is going to lose a lot of energy right now, which is not good at all. Damn it. And Nico Conchi is gone, so let's just try to change this a little bit. Nibble it to the back, and now Nicolas Zek can go. It's just seven kilometers away guys. Conchi, you're good. Bye bye. And attack by Primus Roglic. I don't know what to do if I attack or not, but I'm not going to attack really. I'm just going to put a very high pace with Nicolas Zeg right now to follow Roglic. That's it, come on. But Roglic is getting away. Come on, come on. Close that gap please. 99, come on. No, no one can do it. I need to attack with Nibali. I'm attacking with Nibali. Come on, Nibali. We need to catch Roglic, really. Come on. Everyone is at our wheel. I don't want to work, really, so let's put in the wheel of Froome right now. But I cannot follow this pace. It's very high. Three kilometers to go now. We just four riders at the front now. Not good at all. Hoglitz is getting away. The play, the pace just slowed down a bit because we are out of energy. Oh God! Come on! Come on! We cannot let Hoglitz get away. He's getting away, people. Come on! But I cannot follow this pace. It's very high right now. And well, Hoglitz is going for the win in this stage. Nothing we can do right now. I don't know. 
but these guys these guys now are good it seems Enrique Mas is getting away oh no and Primo Roglic is the winner of this stage number three let's try to get at least fourth place or third place I don't know but Enrique Mas is the second one to cross the line and Garant Thomas is third place again not a win for us but at least we are with the favorites we lose a lot of time to Roglic but we are not the only one to lose time so yeah next stage we need to battle together to to get down Roglic yeah we I finish with the favorites I finish with the, the best ones instead of getting behind so yeah not that bad after all but fourth place for Nibali and yeah general classification third place for Nibali almost two minutes down Hoglich it's getting difficult now to gain uh, time from this unbelievable Primus Hoglich and in the mountains we are still in the lead by just three four five just five points away of Hoglich so yeah pretty it's pretty narrow the the lead we have on the mountains I'm not going to battle for that of course but yeah let's go to stage number four now it is another mountain stage so we need to put our efforts all together to try to beat this Hoglich yeah let's go and here we are guys start of the stage it seems on even on a plus two day so very good for us it's got plus three on mountain and plus three on hill so very nice indicator that we can do something in this race so we'll see so guys here we are we are starting this first climb first category climb and we have 10 men at the breakaway right now so a big breakaway with two minutes and 50 seconds ahead all of them that, that are on the breakaway they don't matter to the GC of course so it's not a problem for us the the pace on the peloton is very it's very slow right now so not a big of a problem right now our guys are hanging on very good and yeah let's see if anyone do something on this climb or not so guys the breakaway is approaching the next climb this one is a special category climb let's start climbing now it's a very very long climb not that steep in most parts but still it's very long 23 kilometers so yeah let's see how the peloton going to react to this if there will be any attacks and I don't know but for me I think I'm going to put a pace of course so that we can take some people down and then on the downhill to recover a bit for the final climb the pace is really high right now I want to do something but the pace is so high so I don't know Pedersen is of course in difficulties protecting Ciccone Nicolas Egg as well is doing well Nibali and Brambilla is too far behind for me come on Brambilla to the front please so yeah a little train here you know me I like trains and I don't know if this is the best way or not to do it to do the the mountain gameplay but that's how I play let's see 90 on Brambilla now you can rest Chicone you can go on 88 Come on guys, come on. I know you can do this. And yeah, the peloton is start to to feel the difficulties, which is good. So come on guys, come on. And we are catching up the breakaway as well. 95 now we are reaching the summit almost. But we are catching up the breakaway, so I don't think the breakaway has any chance to win really. Bill Bow is at the front with Sam Holman. These are, these are the best guys of the breakaway of course but I don't think they can win it really now let's pace a little bit more or maybe not maybe just let's just stop it and attack with Nibali let's attack why not the peloton is quite behind so we, we just created a little a little break I think so come on Nibali let's go this is it we are creating a little gap right now come on it's a downhill part now let's go come on guys 28 seconds only I don't think that's enough for the last climb because it's too big 
maybe I will just stop because I cannot do it at this pace it really needs, needs all the energy possible for the last climb and maybe Bilbao and Sam Oman can have an opportunity they are one minute ahead it's not perfect but we'll see if, he, if they can do it but yeah on the downhill I don't think we can create many gaps in this game really so let's just take our position take a deep breath and hope that we can regain the energy that we have so that we can attack on the last climb and so guys here we are less than 20 kilometers to go we are starting the climb already or the breakaway start the climbing now we start the climbing and our guys Chicon is not the best energy possible I think but let's see if he can hang on really Brambilla will be at the front Conchi will follow Brambilla I know that Brambilla doesn't have too much energy left but he can help as much as possible but of course we have to be careful with the tags because they are coming of course you know that 17 kilometers to go now and Zakarin and Dylan Tunes are attacking Pozo Vivo, Miguel Angel Lopez these guys are all more than four minutes down so I'm not going to chase them it's for the leaders to chase really Nicola Conchi is getting out of energy so he's done his job now Chicone is the the next guy but Chicon is not on the best shape right now we'll see Moberger now but all these guys they are very far behind I'm not going to chase any of them now Fuglesang now this is a guy that is danger Garen Thomas as well so Nibali you need to pace it protect them and yeah let's go maybe not that high and yeah Green Thomas is at the head of the peloton right now where is Hoglich? Hoglich is behind but yeah they are caught so stop Nibali no need to rush but Hoglich is getting out so what am I doing now oh god I don't know what can I do here I follow the attack or not I'm not going to follow again I'm just going to pace it if that's possible it's not so let's attack try to reach these guys up front come on yes that's it try to stay on the wheel nibbly now this hoglich man is so so good and he's attacking again oh my god I cannot follow that Fogelson is following I cannot really six kilometers to go to the front of the race I cannot follow really let's just calm down a little bit let's try to reach them oh god come on Nibali five kilometers to go for us we are losing a lot of energy let's use the gel maybe I don't know oh my come on come on Nibali catch this come on no and Roglic is gone again how does he have so many so much energy and now he stopped so yeah this is good stay here try to stay here Nibali come on regain some energy please let's try to do this Roglic is at the front 12 seconds ahead of us the other guys are one minute down so we are pretty good to go to the second position overall Roglic is right here come on Nibali this is the last kilometer now guys Fuglesang is at the front maybe he's going for the stage win we'll see come on come on come on Nibali catch up please um, I'm going to lose time for Roglic and Fuglesang is the winner of this stage Roglic and Miguel Angel Lopez comes third and second place and we are at fourth place when you, we are losing some seconds to Roglic which is not good but at least I think we finish 
on second position overall right now so it's pretty cool now the rest of the guys are at the finish line and where is Geraint Thomas is losing a lot of time guys so yeah second place is ours I think yeah guys in the end again we were so close but we cannot handle the pace of the um, the best riders here and I don't know maybe it's my playing style I don't know but I think I could maybe hang on with Roglic at this last kilometer but I couldn't do it I don't know maybe you can leave some tips on the comments so that I can play a little bit better but yeah Jakob Fugelson is the first one on this stage gaining 47 seconds to Roglic who comes second then it ends on Iboli at fourth place one minute down Fugelson we lost just a few seconds for Roglic Let's see on the GC where we at. Third place, Fugelsang. With the minute that he gained, he just came for second place now. And we are still in third place by one second behind Fugelsang. I mean, let's try to, to beat Fugelsang for the second place because two minutes down of Hoglic, we don't have more stages of this caliber with uh, these mountains. So. We only have a few stages with a bit of eels, not that, nothing that big. So I think who knows who is the winner of this race right now? Primus Roglic, a superb effort, really. Let's try to take that second place. And in stage number five right now, we have a hill stage, so it's not that difficult like the last one, but still we have a first category climb towards the end of the stage and then a downhill. So yeah, I think that's perfect for a Nibali attack and um, I'm, I'm pushing that so we can gain time on at least Fugelsang and get, and get that second place. Let's see. And so guys, this is it. We are approaching. We are almost there at the start of the climb. And before that, I will try to do something here with my team, of course, you know, I'm going to put the pace really, but Although the pace is high, but I, I will try to put a pace right from the beginning and Niklas Ek is out of it really, so let's see, maybe with Nibali, with Pedersen protecting him, which is not that good, but we'll see. Let's see, we are almost at the summit now. Maybe it's time for Ciccone now. Come on Nibali, maybe. I will just, I don't know. This is really hard right now, but I'm putting some respect on the peloton. Come on, Nibali. Let's go. David Godou is on our wheel. Chikoni is gone. Nibali, we are almost at the summit. I'm not going to attack. I will attack on this next little hill. And Fugelsong is attacking. I need to follow the attack, really. Come on, come on. And this is it. The, the, this little climb is right here now. Come on, Nibali. Follow that attack. That's it. Come on, come on. Give the energy gel, maybe. Fugelsong is getting away, come on, and I'm not gaining any time on anyone, which is not what I wanted, really. Come on now, it's a descent, can we do something on here? We'll see, we cannot do nothing right now, just hang on to these guys and finish the stage. Sprint with everyone, Nibali, come on Nibali. Come on, what you're doing? Why are you... I said to sprint Nibali, come on. Who is winning? Niland is winning. Oh my god, forget about this really. Damn, it's so bad. Yeah guys, in the end the breakaway won it. Chris Niland is the winner. Team Welland at second. And then the, the favorites group came 25... 25 seconds down and we came with a group at 41 so yeah not good we didn't not we did not make any time really as I was trying to to, to do 
And yeah, maybe now the general classification is done, really. Third place for us. Maybe a little bonus seconds on the next stages. We'll see. Because they are all flat. Apart from the last one, it's a bit hilly, but I don't think that's going to be, make a big difference, really. And on the mountain classification, we are still in first. Still 12 points ahead of Hoglet show. Can we hold on to this jersey, maybe? We'll see. So, guys, now stage number six. I don't think this stage is for us, so let's just continue and see what's happened. So guys, I was saying that this stage was not for us, but the game tells us that Pedersen is the favorite to win this stage, so I don't know, let's see if that's the case or not. Let's try with Pedersen. So guys, update. We have one guy at the front, Niklas Egg. Four riders at the front with eight minutes ahead of the peloton, so they are looking very good right now to win the stage, but we'll see. And I am with Nicolas Eck at the front because he was unhappy, he, he needs a victory, so that's what I'm trying right here. Yeah, let's see if that's possible. And now we have almost 15 minutes, guys, so we are still at halfway to the stage, but still 15 minutes, that's a lot, really. Right now I, I'm the provisional leader, but of course, that's not going to stay like this until the end, but 15 minutes. That's the first time I, I see a gap so big and yeah, we are starting to climb this third category hill and yeah, let's see on the next climb where we at. Guys, we are 50 kilometers away from the finish and we still have 14 minutes ahead of the peloton. Let's see if the peloton will rise the pace and catch us up, but I don't think so right now as you see. We have 6 minutes ahead of Roglic on the general classification, the provisional one. But I don't know what is happening really. They are not pulling very hard right now in the peloton, I don't understand. Maybe in the end they will pull harder, but I don't know, well let's see. So yeah, let's see how things develop. Guys, 20 kilometers to go, they are just awakening now. I think it's gonna be a, lit a bit late, I don't know, but... As we see here, we are struggling at the, f at the back because they are pulling very hard right now because they see it's in danger, really, the, the, the jersey of Hoglich. We're down to 11 minutes, I think I need to... And they are attacking right now. I'm not understanding why, but let's relay with Niklas Egg right now because this is a great opportunity, really. I, I think we can do this. Let's see. We are now approaching the last climb, beginning the downhill, 13 kilometers to go. Come on, Nicolas, you can do this. It's going to be right down to the wire in terms of time, but I think we can do this. Come on, Nicholas. Let's go, let's attack, because these guys don't want to cooperate with me. It doesn't even matter the win right here at the stage. Of course, it is great to win at the stage, but if we can get the overall jersey, that's brilliant. And yeah guys, 5 kilometers to go now, Niklas Zank giving everything that he has. Come on, we have 9 minutes now, it's getting very close because we have only 7 minutes ahead behind Hoglitz, so it's going to be very tricky, let's see. Right here at the back, let's put Pedersen on the wheel of Nibali, maybe Chiconi on the wheel of Brambilla, that's it, let's try. To push because these guys are pushing as well let's see in the front come on Nicholas and I oh my god really I didn't see oh my god I just lost the stage because I was not paying attention I was paying attention to the peloton oh my god so dumb of me but that doesn't matter right now what's matter is I can win the general classification right here with Nicolas Egg. That's really... <laughs> I, I really don't know how this is happening, but let's see. I had about 8 minutes. And right here at the top corner, we are reaching at the 8 minute mark. So I think Pedersen is the first of the peloton. That's good, but I think we got the, the yellow jersey. 
So guys, I was distracted in the end, I didn't pay attention to the front of the, the race to try to win it with Niklas Zeg, but as we see here, we have 8 minutes ahead of the peloton in this race, which means Niklas Zeg is the new yellow jersey of Volta Ciclista Catalunya, with just 17 seconds ahead of Primus Roglic, oh my god, I, I cannot believe it really, we are in first place right now with Niklas Egg. We just need to hold on to that 17 seconds on the last stage and it's a hilly stage so let's see if we can hang on to that and in the mountains we are still first so I think we can win that that's for sure I think nobody will take that jersey from Nibali and yeah what what a stage guys come on let's go less than 10 kilometers to go now we are at the front we still have one climb left and I think we are safe really. I think we are very in a very good position right now. No one is attacking so let's just pace a little bit more. I think we just won Volta Ciclista Catalunya. Oh no, maybe I just fucked up. Really? Come on. Four and a half kilometers to go. Niklas Egg is a bit behind now. Which is not that good, but still, Hoglitz is not here. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Well, let's sprint with all of you. One kilometer to go. Can we win it? No. Dylan Tun is at the front, and Karen Thomas, Nibali as well, but the win is for Dylan Tunes. Garant Thomas second place, third for Ciccone, fourth Nibali and Nicholas Egg at fifth place so still a very good result for him. And yeah we just won Volta Ciclista Catalunya which is pretty massive really. I really I don't have words for this. And here it is guys I cannot believe it Nicholas Egg at first place on Volta Ciclista Catalunya with a breakaway win and on stage number 6 I believe what a great result first stage race win for us at the GC and Vicenzo Nibali on the best climber classification as well so two jersey for us and I think we got the third one with the best young rider of course it is Nicolas Egg the youngest of them all to win it so three distinctive jerseys for our team I mean I don't have any words really it's fantastic and yeah guys I'm gonna to leave it here for today for this episode what a great episode really things turned out for us very good I didn't expect any of these really but in the end we got it and yeah this is it, I hope you like it, leave a like, subscribe, because it means a lot really. I will tell this every single episode because it means really a lot. All the support that you leave is really important for me to continue to do this. But I'm doing this for fun really because I love this game and I love cycling. So yeah, see you soon on the next episode, stay safe, bye bye.